Hey guys, welcome back to Gala Tech Tips. This video I will demonstrate how to create a Windows 10 virtual machine inside of Oracle VirtualBox. So what we want to do is go ahead and type Windows 10 ISO file download. The ISO file is essentially the Windows operating system and you can get it via ISO file. Go ahead and click on Microsoft where it says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. I think Microsoft just started providing this tool. You can come here and get an update and then right here where it says create Windows 10 installation media there's a download tool. Go ahead and click on that. Downloads pretty quick. Go ahead and open it. Click on yes. This will take a few minutes, but um, get going here. Yeah, and when the terms and conditions come up, go ahead and read through it. I know you're a speed reader. And click accept. We don't want to upgrade the PC now. We want to create the installation media. We're after this ISO file. So go ahead and click there and click next. Here, if you need to change anything, you need to uncheck that box. And you may need to, if you have a 32-bit, um, you have that option, or you can do both. We're just going to choose 64-bit. Just click on that again. That's basically how it comes set up. Click on Next. We want the ISO file. Go ahead and click there, and then click Next. And where do we want to save it? We're going to save it on the desktop. Click Save. I already have an ISO file. It's asking me if I want to replace it. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. It's going to take a few minutes to download, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And when it's done downloading, I'll be back and we can finish up. Okay guys, that takes a little bit of time. So when you get here, um, burn the ISO file to a DVD. Click Finish. It'll be a ISO DVD, not a physical DVD. And it should be on our desktop. And over here, down here, so we got it on our desktop. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and open your virtual Oracle box. Mine is down here on the taskbar. And you'll see right away I have several different types of virtual machines here. Um, what we're going to do is Go ahead and click on machine and click on new. And you're going to want to name your Windows machine. We'll do Windows, oops, Windows 10 test 2. I keep my VM's not in the C drive because you'll run out of space. So I store them in. I also have a D drive. And you can also do an external hard drive if you want. It's a good option. So I have a folder right here where my virtual box, virtual machines are. So I'll click on that and you'll see how they're all listed here which is all these 
And then I have more in here that I don't use. Um, so select folder, the type, Microsoft Windows, you'll see that you have other options. And you'd want to choose these other options for these different operating systems. Version, Windows 10, 64-bit, you can choose 32. You can also do other versions of Windows if you're able to obtain an ISO file for that specific version. Windows 10, click Next. All these preset settings, they're good um, for what we're doing. Uh, create a virtual hard disk now. Go ahead and click Create. Virtual disk image. Go ahead and click Next. Dynamically allocated. Choose that. Um, if you want to save space, you don't want to take up too much memory. Um, you can select fixed size, but we're just going to choose dynamically allocated. We're not going to be using this virtual machine for anything other than just the purpose of the tutorial. Click Next. File location and size. Click Create. And there you go. Windows Test 2. So now what we want to do is click on Settings. This should be... Hmm. Let me see something here. There we go. So I just wanted to pull up, this is basically our Windows 10 Test 2. Um, and so when you click on settings, you'll see it's the same thing. General, general, system, system, display, display. And it's right here. So what we're going to do is just change some of these basic system settings. Um, you don't need a floppy disk. You can uncheck that. Your processor, if you need, if you have two, more likely you just have one, one or two. You just leave it at one. Display, everything is good here. Later down the road, if you want to set up remote access, you can enable a remote access server into your virtual machine. And storage is the most important part, pretty much. Uh, right here is says, where it says empty this disk. Go ahead and click on the disk. And then go over here to this little guy, this little disk here. Click on that. And then choose create virtual optical disk and you'll see I already have two in there but we're gonna add the one we just downloaded in desktop scroll down select and you'll see it's here right there go ahead and select choose and here's your Windows operating system basically uh, the other important setting is the network you have multiple adapters just choose adapter 1 enable network adapter make sure that's checked and just make sure it's on NAT for now this will make sure you're able to connect to the internet through your virtual machine all these other options are for multiple virtual machines like I have set up over here and to connect them you're gonna wanna either do a bridge adapter internal network um, and you have more options just depends on what kind of network you're setting up but for this basic 
first tutorial we're not going to get into that so just make sure it's on that click on advanced and make sure your cable connected is checked and then click OK then we should be good to go go ahead and click start and the virtual machine should start up You can go ahead and close these. And then here you go. We are here. It looks like we had a successful install. And basically we just go through um, how to set up Windows. And I'm going to make a separate video on that. That will be a uh, two of two. Um, so right now I'm going to end this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to help you out. And um, please like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you in the next video.